Hi, I'm Donna Rodenizer. I am a composer. I live in Nova Scotia, Canada. Not that it's always snowy in Canada, but it is today because I'm outside in the late winter afternoon. I'd like to talk to you about my song collection called Computer Cat. It's being published by F Flat Books. We are delighted to have our ebook available through F Flat Books. They create musical resources for music teachers who are in music classrooms as well as in private vocal studios. And we are so happy to include my song collection, Computer Cat, in the resources that they are offering to you for use in what you do, teaching music to your students. In the Computer Cat Song Collection, there are a variety of skill and grade levels so that you can grab one book and do programming with more than one grade level from the same book. And there's a variety of styles. We have a little bit of jazz, we have a little bit of uh, country line dancing, we have a waltz, we have a variety of styles of music. We also have a variety of topics. Computer Cat, which is the very first song in the collection, is totally out of the imaginary. The cat has eaten the mouse for the computer. Now, if you try to imagine doing Zoom calls and online learning with a mouse inside a cat, you can kind of get the picture of what this song might entail. No pun intended. There's a song about a hamster which runs away. It's very sad and heartfelt. The, the song lyrics are that I really love my hamster and I miss him. I wish he would come home. The good news is, is that in real life that hamster did show up again and we got him back. But you're going to have to tell your students you heard that from me as the composer because the song was written and finished before that hamster showed up again. So it does sound kind of sad. The sentiment that you miss your hamster is still there when the song ends. There's a chance to sing about going on vacation. It's an upbeat sort of calypso kind of sound. And there's a chance to add some classroom instruments to that song and talk about different locations that you might be able to go on vacation that would be fun. There's also a song that can partner with that that's called Packing, talking about all the different things that you would take with you on vacation. There's a chance for your students to add their own items that they think would be great to take along as they go to their dream destination vacation. There's a song that tiptoes a little bit into the jazz world. It's called 40 Little Birdies. There's a chance to do some peeping and improvisational um, insertion of your own choice for peeps in the chorus of 40 Little Birdies. And the song I'm Wishing is a heartfelt song talking about wishing on a star and thinking I wish we had a better world, I wish children could play safely everywhere and there was peace and no war. And then the realization that we all need to do our own part in our own small part of the world to help make that dream become reality. That song also has some two-part options, so you can do some part singing with your students, although it stands perfectly fine on its own as a unison piece. There is the song Splashing in the Puddles. This is a call and response for early part singing when you're not really independent, but you can do a little bit of back and forth. There's even a whistling solo in Splashing in the Puddles. There is the song We Are the Children of the World. If you do character trait education or if you want to just talk about the community as a world community. This is a great song. The lyric is, we are the children of the world. Every face is different, yet we are all the same. And it is a great message. Again, this has a very short descant part in it. So for older students, they really like to add that descant part, but it can be sung with or without that descant. I think that's all the songs that I can remember that are in there. There are 12 altogether. Did I talk about the penguins? I didn't. Oh my goodness, there are four penguin songs. They are written in four different styles. One of them is a waltz, one of them is a kind of country line dance, one is sort of waddling and action oriented, and the other one is very factual. There are lots of facts about the penguins, but there are also delving into the imaginary of what those penguins might be doing when they're all dressed up in their black and white outfits to go out for the evening. So there's lots of variety in style, there's lots of variety of topics, and there's a variety of grade levels. And we are so pleased to make that available to you as an ebook through F Flat Books. Check it out. I wish you all the best as you make some music with your students. And now I'm going in for some hot chocolate because it's gold. Bye.